Welcome back guys. Today we're going to go over salt pillars. Now salt pillars are used to push configuration and secrets, albeit in the most archaic form, to the minions. Unlike grains where the grain data can be pushed or pulled from the minion to the master, uh, pillars can only be pushed from the master to the minions. Pillars are meant to be more sensitive compared to the grains. Grains are easily found in ETC salt grains where pillars are in a more arbitrary location, probably in the VAR folder. Now, with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, remember, if you go back if you to the beginning of the state video, we had to push in a file roots config. We have to do the same thing for pillars. Um, that is required, unlike where grains does not have a required configuration. So I already actually went ahead and, and did this in the first edit of this video. I copied this config into my master. So let's, if you want to take a look, Let's go to saltmaster.d and then roots.conf. I have it in SRV salt pillars. Now, after I'd done this, I went ahead and restarted the salt master, like so, and make sure that I can see I can still see all of my minions, and you can indeed ping them as well. And might take a bit. Up oh, there it is. All right. So now we, I actually already went ahead and wrote my uh, pillar. So if you were following the uh, videos up till now, um, I had this pillars directory which was empty. So I created this new base users directory in it, which there is a users directory. Now what I had done here was that I took my public key from the state and I put it in this pillar. So it's under users, MOLE, and then there's my uh, SSH public key. Now, once I had saved this, I need to make sure that the pillar gets applied to the appropriate hosts. So the only way to do that is, is to make sure that your, um, you have a top.sls file. And the top.sls file, I'll go over the state top.sls file, but the, it's much the, uh, the same concept. In the pillar top.sls file, not the state one, you have the environment, which we said is base into our, our file roots. In fact, if I pull it up here, um, we can just go ahead and do vi, and then there it is, base. That's the environment name. Um, anyway, so we have the base environment. Dev host one is the host and then base users, which is the folder, and users is the directory. Or sorry, users is a file. Now in this file, I've got this users key and MOLE, and then this is my um, this is my SSH key. So that being said, I wrote that in the top.sls file. Now, where I'm at now is I want to be able to apply this top.sls file, or rather refresh the, the state data. So I went ahead and pushed the, uh, the state data. And now we can go ahead and continue where I had left off. So in slash SRV salt pillars. Oh, I need to. Let's see. So it should be reading from my GitHub repository, which it is not because it looks like it's got this, but it does not have this. And I wonder why. So locally, I did not push it out. Push pillars. Um, OK, so running into a little bit of technical difficulties, it looks like. I should be able to just pull this out, but I do not see my pillars file, my foot pillars folder, where it is definitely here. Anyways, let's take a look at the log between the both of them. Fix requirements, fix require state. Okay. Which we did, 
and then in the master branch we did do that okay so in which case let's go ahead and blow away this directory since it's not pulling correctly and just go ahead and reclone it There we go. Now if we go to salt, there's pillars, there's states, there's all that fun stuff. Okay, so I actually should have just ignored these files. I don't need that. Um, and this one right here. Either way, uh, so now that I've got my pillars, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and make sure that I can definitely push them. So we may run into more technical difficulties here, unfortunately, but that is part of the process. So to refresh your pillar, you can actually use the salt detail refresh pillars. And then that should go ahead and refresh it. So now, now that we refreshed it, we can actually go ahead and take a look at our own pillar like we did grains. So we can do pillar.items. And then there's my pillar, users, and then there's my public key and we can do pillar.get and all that other fun stuff uh, users.moali and that might just okay that may not okay either way my pillars are there so since my pillars are there i can get it with pillar.items and so on i can actually go ahead and use it in a state However, I'm going to save that for a future video. So I just wanted to put this out here and to show you that I can indeed write my pillar and put it in the top.sls. If I don't have the top.sls, it does not work. I need this top.sls for pillars. I will have a top.sls in a future video for states, but for pillars, I need this top.sls now to make sure it works. I wrote my pillar here and that's pretty much it. I just go ahead and pushed it, and it's, this data is now available to. Oh, that's my wife calling me. This data is now available to uh, to my minion, and I'll be back in a second. And that was my lovely wife telling me that she's on her way back home from hanging out with her friends. So, and that's a perfect timing, actually. So I'm actually done with the video. Uh, in the next video, I may go over. Um, writing the top.sls file for the states and following videos from there i'm going to have a uh, future videos for using pillars and grains data in the states to target and manipulate data when writing your states so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for everything